Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Top10Gamer.com, sloughing some work again to bring you some awesome footage of my new favorite game, it's Star Wars Battlefront. Now, anytime a new FPS game like this comes out, I'm excited, but you know what, I'm also a huge Star Wars fan. I'm watching Star Wars with all my kids and, you know, even playing Star Wars Uprising on my phone, doing everything Star Wars right now. But I, now that the game's out, I wanted to bring you guys some information that I've learned uh, about how you can get some edge up on all these noobs playing the game right now. You got a lot of Star Wars fans in there that never have played uh, shooter games in their entire life. And uh, as you can see, it's quite a lot of fun as you come around corridors like this one <laughs> and just kind of completely knock out everyone that's in your way. Uh, this weapon is the A280C and it's one of the best weapons out there. Uh, and one of the reasons I think it's pretty much the best weapon that I have right now I don't have everything unlocked We're gonna revisit this later is because it it's so versatile. It does good in just about every category uh, It does fall short in rate of fire. It's slower than blasters like the RT 97 C But it's considerably faster than its Imperial counterpart the E 11 uh, It's very accurate and you can kill people in, in like three shots to the body. That's it's very very deadly and has a lot of potential, kill potential on medium to short range, as you'll see uh, right here. Uh, there's far range, a little shorter range there, and you just take out the guys. Um, if you're able to get a headshot with this, you know, it's, its kill potential is even greater, and it allows you to confront um, even large groups of enemies as they come towards you. Okay, so what this blaster does best is maintaining a reasonable rate of fire along with that excellent accuracy that I mentioned before. Uh, you can blast off your enemies from medium to close range fairly easy and on the longer range ones you'll need to compensate for some of the player movement uh, leading your shot. Uh, this blaster is also great to pin in corridors and doorways because of the previously mentioned attribute. Uh, Play the cover and you should have a leg up against your enemies on pretty much uh, every confrontation. Um, again, versatile is the word here. And, and I think I get a leg up on people even in some situations that I shouldn't be. And that's when you know that you've got a good loadout and a good situation. Um, you can combine the A280C with a variety of cards and then mix and match your gameplay style without changing your blaster every single time and being pretty much lethal in lots of different situations. That's what I like, just being able to stick to something I can get used to and really take advantage of and uh, really just, again, own all those noobs <laughs> in the game right now. My favorite loadout for open maps is the standard beta card set uh, where you have your handy jetpack to get out of those tight situations or get in an optimal firing position like this one even faster. Uh, alongside, you've got your thermal detonator grenade for clearing the enemies that, you're pinning, that are pinning you down. Uh, your star card being the explosive shot. And you can demolish a large pack of enemies like putting a frog in like a freaking blender or something. Uh, on planets like Endor, I would much rather have something like a double grenade setup, thermal detonator and impact grenade, and my star card uh, being the scan pulse. Those combinations are for the blast game mode, uh, where your card set should change for every game mode, depending on what you're doing, especially, especially those which are gonna involve vehicles and heroes. Just changes everything. So uh, this gun design is pretty cool too. Uh, just some information that I noticed about it. It reminds me a lot of the Nazi German STG-44. Ooh, it got me there. Uh, even though in the movies and consequently in the game, this blasters for the Rebels, the A280C is a direct comparison for that assault rifle used by the Nazis in the Eastern Front. Uh, this is not being the only design reference from Nazi equipment for the Star Wars series. Uh, it's just the one of the, the most it's clear after Darth Vader's helmet, after Darth Vader's helmet, of course, and the Imperial officer uniforms. So I'm going to leave you guys with some other footage I've done here. Hope you guys enjoy it. You can certainly ask me any questions below. I'd love to know what you're doing for loadout um, and uh, just anything else you guys have learned about the game. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this and if you like and you like this kind of stuff. So 
Uh, anyway, comment below, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.